when your supervisor first enters your name into when to work you'll receive an email with a temporary username and password for your initial login you go to http colon slash slash when to work dot com then click on sign in in the upper right corner use the temporary username and password that was sent to you in your email it may be best for you to simply copy and then paste that information into when to work then click sign in and you're going to create a new sign in ID and password. Although we're creating a sample account here with Media Test as its name, we ask that you use your Novell login as your sign in ID. Click Go to Step 2. Now, enter your personal information, including your phone number and address. If you live off campus, enter your local address near campus. If you live on campus, please list your home address. We ask that you enter your cell phone number or whatever number you prefer to be reached at. Choose the box for all employees to see my phone number and email address. This is where other students will find you or your email address, your phone number, in the event that they need to contact you for a substitution or for an emergency. Then, once everything's filled in, click Go to the Last Step. You have now successfully logged into when to work. Click go to my home page and you're ready to begin. If you're logging in and have already set up your account, simply go to https colon slash slash when to work dot com. Enter the username and password that you created. Your username should be your Novell username. This will take you to the home page where you can choose which areas of the program you wish to view. When you're on the home page, click on Choose Times I Prefer to Work. This is the fourth of the choices down the middle of the page. Next, choose Set Repeating Weekly Preferences from along the bottom of the page. A new window will pop up. Select Set future weekly preferences in the lower left corner. And another new window will pop up. In the top left corner, click on the calendar box and choose a beginning date. In this particular instance, we're going to use September 3rd, 2012. The date you will actually use will be given to you by your supervisor. Now you're going to paint your schedule. If you're available for any part of one of the 15 minute segments that are shown here, please indicate that you're available for that entire 15 minute segment. For example, if you become available to work at 9.10 a.m., indicate that you're available at 9 o'clock a.m. You're going to choose the, paint, the color that you're going to paint and paint the different hours. Green is where you're going to begin, indicating times when you can and would like to work. So paint green those areas first. The times when you can and would like to work. Next, use pink. The times when you're available to work, but actually would prefer not to work. Depending on the browser you're using, the cursor, the roller, with which you're painting hours, operates a little bit differently. In some browsers, it works very much like a paint roller that you just drag across the areas that you want to color. In other browsers, you have to use the top edge of the roller actually as the pointer on a cursor. 
After doing both the green and pink areas, do the red areas, those times when you cannot work at all. When you're finished, click Save Changes, which is located in either the top or bottom right corners. Then you can close that window because you've already posted your schedule.